What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the Draft to Glory. In the last episode, we, we went for four attempts. I won't be doing that again. I've seen the comments, don't worry. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we eventually got Gomez uh, to put into the team, which was nice. And uh, then we eventually won the draft, which was nice. And we made some profit off of that one particular draft. But um, yeah, here we are now. That Amrabat actually... With a shadow, he already has 74 stand tackle. He wouldn't be terrible there. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird, guys? Tell me tell me how that works. Amrabat as a right mid goes in at right back. Oh, look at that. It's actually got the highlighted center back, center mid section. Look at that. Can I actually pick that? Um, but Haji goes in as a center mid. How weird is that? I'm going to take Amrabat. Um... Guys, if you're enjoying Draft of Glory and you wouldn't mind dropping a thumbs up on the video, it would be very much appreciated. I'll go with Cavani there. I want some Team of the Season cards. Uh, if you guys want to become a member, uh, of course, the link is down below. Oh, my days. Okay. Let's take Higuain because I still want to go Syria themed as much as possible. Come on, big Team of the Season. Easy. So we're going to have to take Riquelme. Which obviously is very good for chemistry. Uh, Raquel May himself is not the best card. Um, but it... <laughs> All right. Um, what's this guy got? That's not a terrible card. That's a really well-rounded card. We'll take him. We'll obviously be able to link him to Raquel May as well. I hope he's not in my team come the end of it. And we'll take that Dominguez. Ooh, does he strong link? No, he doesn't. He only soft links. And um, we'll take that uh, Dominguez card, a very good card in this game, is obviously going to strong link to Higuain up top. Uh, and then Raquel May is kind of like putting everybody else together. That is a tough, tough set of cards. Valverde links to uh, Cavani. Muller doesn't link to anybody other than Raquel May, but is insane. Pogba is also insane. You know, the five star, five star on this foot birthday Pogba is absolutely brilliant. And this Gabriel card is also phenomenal. I'm going to take Gabriel on the chance that we get Tellez or Pepe and hope that we do. I mean, there's there's Tellez. Not the one that I wanted, but still works because we get the strong link in there. Um, and then if we swap those two around and swap those two around, we'll get a nice little chem boost in there as well. And then hopefully the team of the season Pepe shows up. It's not going to... What have we got? Syria, Argentinian. I mean, nothing works here, does it? And then Amrabat as well. We'll take Ginter. This draft is not the one, boys. The bench is going to have to save it for us. Hey, they're all my days. Pepe's there and works, but Sol I have to take Sol Campbell for, for, the, for the betterment of the entire team, for the chemistry links that he offers and for everything that comes with Sol Campbell. All my days, I have to take him. And I'm going to take Leno as well. The German goalkeeper links both. That's like, this is the first time I've ever seen Leno in draft. What is he? 90? He's got basic chem style as well. So we'll go 99, 98, 94, 99, 98. That's really nice. That's not a bad first draft. Um, we need to get rid of Ginter. I'm happy with the rest of the back line, even Amrabat on seven. I need to get rid of that center mid. And I need to get rid of Cavani and Higuain. But outside of that, I'm happy with that. If we can get like Prime R9 or something like that, that'd be really nice. Ooh. Al Somer. He also works for chemistry and Stronglings Ginter and is higher rated than uh, Leno. Come on, big team of the season. Yes. Let me take that Quadrado, guys. He gives us a big six chem boost. He obviously links to Dominguez as well. We can now use Amrabat. Well, either Amrabat in that right back spot. Not that he, he doesn't work there, but it's draft, right? Oh, Grimaldo is nice. Grimaldo is very nice. We could play Grimaldo at centre-back. And he would, at the very least, get soft chem. I think I'm going to go with that. We do that, and then do that. That's not bad. Doesn't matter which way around they go, I suppose, does it? Yeah, it needs one more link. So we have a German, so it doesn't work. So we need a better goalkeeper. But Grimaldo and Tellez in at centre-back. Ooh, Simon and Petros. Petros strong links Amrabat. 
that would mean getting rid of Quadrado and maybe subbing on Quadrado. Put Dominguez in the centre midfield spot. Actually, Dominguez in the cam spot and Raquel May down in the centre mid spot. That's probably the one. Alternatively, we could take Simon as a sub. I I'm going to take Petros. I this might not be exactly perfect. Uh, no, I want Raquel May there. Mingo's there. Now I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna be taking off Quadrado, and we will be starting Amrabat at fullback. But we will be subbing on immediately Quadrado up front. He's got terrible finishing, but we're gonna do it. That's what's gonna happen. And then other than uh, Cavani, the draft is all right. So Cristiano Ronaldo would obviously go down pretty well. Henrik Mkhitaryan can go in there as well. Come on, something big. Oh, team of the year, Messi. Hey, let's pop him there. We gain two chem because of the chem that he gives. And as long as we can get him on four chem, or even three chem, which, wait, if we do that now, oh, that doesn't work. Oh, that's nice. Centre mid gets full chem. The left back gets full chem. Messi now is on three, but I need the Argentinian manager. I need to get him up to four. And the rest of that team is lights out. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Obviously, I could just go... Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get for the last picks. We could go back to the Serie A setup down the right-hand side. We've got another blue coming in. Oh, it's Carver Howe. Can't sadly fit him in. Unless we just play him at right back. I'm going to take him, though. This is good. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight team of the seasons. That's a good start. What have we got coming in here? There's Mbappe again. Oh, there's Fulham Mendy. I'm going to take Mbappe for the super sub. Uh, we are going to need a good offensive super sub. We've got Quadrado. We've now got Mbappe as well. We could definitely get like a 100 chemistry on this team. Come on, big team of the seasons. Do I start Ronaldo and sub on Messi? Because that way I can then get better chemistry elsewhere in the team. Or do I take Fernandinho... I take Ronaldo. Ronaldo just makes perfect sense. Uh, apparently, as well, team of the season Ronaldo is actually in draft, which is good news because his team of the year isn't. So the fact that his team of the year is is very good. Oh, Garincha, let's go. That's another good sub. Our, our bench is now stacked. That's much better. Right, so with two picks to go, let's have a look at what we can get here. Oh, that's our silvers. Uh, and then last but not least, we're going to pick up Nothing major, really. Um, so the rating's only only a 9-1. So <clears throat> I have a feeling the smart choice is kind of like... Actually, yeah, that. Um... You know, that back line is absolutely incredible. Or who did we have there before? Who did we have at centre-back? That gave us full chem. Or Ginter. I'm definitely not using Ginter. No chance. Tellers off chem is fine. Or Grimaldo. Although Grimaldo doesn't get all the links yet. It has to be Tellers. Uh, Petros now doesn't get full chem. So we can bring someone in. We don't have anyone to bring in, so we can't really bring anyone in. What I think I'm probably going to do is sub on immediately Messi and Ronaldo. And then save Garincha for the late game. And play like that. That is not a bad setup. So yeah, Messi and Ronaldo coming on. Keeper's only on seven, but Sommer's so good anyway. He's going to go like 99, 99, 92, 95, 99, something like that once we get the uh, manager in. Um, 
Minguez, Petros, and uh, Gabriel in midfield is fantastic. Raquel May's okay. As I say, Ronaldo and Messi on straight away. And then either Mbappe or Garincha on instead of uh, Raquel May later on in the game. The back line's strong. We've got that Cuadrado in there as well. So hopefully he'll be useful for us. Um, that's still 96. That will give us no chemistry either. 96. 96. 96. 96. Doesn't matter. So there you go, guys. That is going to be the draft for today's video. It's a good, good team. Let's get into the action. All right, guys. Into game number one we go. We're up against the 4 4 2. Overmars and Vinicius. Oh, wow. He's got a lot of the uh, shapeshifter cards. That's interesting. Uh, Chiellini, Sandro, Felipe Anderson, and Torreira. That is a very, very nice squad. Lehman and uh, Wambasaka, Tubasaka. His centre backs are very poor. Um, let's get into this draft and uh, hopefully we get some nice, uh, some nice dubs here today, guys. Where do I pause that? So there's my Ronaldo and Messi on. I wonder who he brought on, if anyone. He brought on Tonali. Wow. I mean, maybe it's team of the season, Tonali. But even if it's... Oh, God. Even if it's only future stars, Tonali. That's an interesting one. I did not expect that. Rodrado into Messi. Messi to Ronaldo. Ronaldo back to Messi. And there's Lionel Messi. And there's Lionel... Oh, my God. Why has he used his right foot? Outside of the left foot, pal. And that's a goal. Maybe I should have ball rolled around the keeper there. But that should be a goal. No way, eh, man. I've literally positioned myself 100% perfectly for that. Look at this guy. He's got six men back at all times. Such a scummy way to play FIFA. It really is. Six men back at all times. Once you get the ball, you play it once forwards, once backwards, and then bang it down the line. <sighs> Guys, what boring half of FIFA, man. Uh, honestly, you don't expect this in draft in general, let alone round one. But this guy is one depth, drop back. Just sitting there, compact, eight men in the box, and then he's just playing the ball down the line when he gets it, when he gets the ball. Look at that. I mean, he's, he's obviously quite good at the game as well. His passing's good, and he's created six shots. And that's because he keeps... Gut, like His shots aren't good. They're just crosses. He's literally just crossed it in five to six times, headed it at the goal, easy saves for the goalkeeper. We've only managed to get one shot in so far, and it probably should have been a goal. Let's hope that this uh, second half... Can allow us to uh, to get a goal and and see this game out, Numbers. guys. I'm getting done by the game here. I'm getting done by the game. I've read that perfectly. I can't believe that. Oh my! I literally can't believe that. I've read that the ball's popped back to him. He's run down the wing, and crossed it in, and Giovinco, Giovinco, has headed it. How? He's the shortest man on the field by a fucking mile. Come on, Garincha. From there. Let's go, baby. Come on. Oh, I needed that. That's the one. That's the one. Ronaldo. How have you missed that? Honestly, how have you missed that? Oh, I can't believe I'm going to extra time against this guy, man. Embarrassing. Come on, Ronaldo. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. I like it. I like it a lot. Come on, Ronaldo. That, if that's a goal kick, that has to be a penalty. It is a goal kick. That's unbelievable. He's literally just cut Ronaldo's ankles whilst he's trying to shoot there. And the game's just been totally okay with it. Based across the ball, indeed. Ronaldo! Let's go! Cristiano Ronaldo. Come on, man. Oh, I needed that. I needed that. Oof. He's going to get a goal off of that, isn't he? That's genuinely shocking. Again, just genuinely shocking. I've defended that, like, I believe so well. I've read the play. I've read the pass. And, and the guys managed to get that cut across the goal, a low driven. Just genuinely shocking. Guys, that 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 guy is genuinely at, at least gold one level, right? At least gold one level. Quality player. That was still one of the most infuriating games of FIFA I've played in a long time. For the first half of the game, he was one depth drop back, compact, very narrow. And just as soon as he got the ball, he'd go out to his fullback, 
up to his winger. What formation was he? Yeah, so out to it like Sandro, up to Anderson, back to Sandro, through ball to Anderson, and then across in. And because of the way this game is coded, you can't stop it. You just can't stop it. Like, you, you got to like, have miracle reading abilities to do that. And he ended up scoring the dumbest goal off of it with Giovinco, man. Like, of all people, Giovinco. It's just crazy. Down the wing. I mean, I've, I've, I've tried to read a cutback with Campbell because, look, who cares if he goes there, right? He's got nothing on. You can see I'm trying to make the head up. Who is that for me? Alex Tellez, man, against Giovinco. I just don't know how. I just, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Anyway, we came through that game with a win. That was a frustrating game, but we came through with a win. I'll see you guys in the second round. All right, guys, as we go into the second round, uh, that guy that I just played messaged me afterwards and said, GG, he's a fan of the content. Um, and I asked him where he placed in champs. He hasn't responded yet. I did do a search of his name before he messaged me on, on YouTube or on Google, and he is on FootWiz's like monthly statistics leaderboard, which means he's at least been in top 100. That doesn't mean he finished there. You know, you if you get there, you know, if you play your very first five games on Friday, uh, like as soon as it opens, you'll essentially be in top 100 because not that many people have played games. So uh, it doesn't, it's not necessarily a definitive uh, answer to anything. But as I said, he was a good player, you know, and it was just a frustrating game. Um, and that's just the way this FIFA is. Hopefully, and expectedly, that will be the most difficult game we'll play this draft. It's not necessarily to say that we're guaranteed to win this draft. It's just that that should hopefully be the most difficult that we play. Um, but here we go into game two, guys. And uh, let's see if we can go and get ourselves into the semi-finals. Here we go. Into Ronaldo. That's the one. That's the one. Love it. That lofted through ball. I've started putting into my... Uh, into my uh, arsenal, so to speak, a little bit more. And uh, it's paid off nicely there. Whatever, dude. Not like this, EA. That is... Oh, whatever, EA. Whatever, man. This guy with Marcelo did like three skill moves. So the skill chaining should have come into play. I got in between him and the ball. And he still managed to get it back. I just don't get it. And then he gave... Oh. And then he managed to score. Oh, man, I hate, I hate. I got a yellow card as well. I hate FIFA so much. Come on. Let's go, man. That's a good goal again. That's a good goal. 2 1. I love that. Oh, that'd be half time. Damn it, man. Oh, I should be outside, guys. I should be outside. Come on, Ronaldo. Come on, Ronaldo. Go on, Ronaldo. This guy's gone. Get out of here. This is it. It's game over. Should have been like that in the first half. Yeah, he's out. He's out. Into the semis we go, guys. I'll see you there. I made way too hard work of that, honestly. So, guys, before we get into the semi-final, um, there you go. This is what the Swifty guy replied with. He said, usually play to goal three, goal two when team of the season is on. Hit an elite three odd time. Know what you mean? Drives me crazy. Hence, just going for 14. Rewards are trash either way. And first of all, he's not wrong. Rewards are trash either way. And second of all, I, I, I just knew it. I just had a feeling that guy was like, um, you know, at the very least, gold one level. And, and he obviously is. So into the semifinals we go, guys. Hopefully we can um, get ourselves into the final with this draft because it's actually a good draft. Uh, we're up against a 4-5-1. Smoke boys. That's not the best draft at all, is it? Like, he's got a few really dead picks in there. Um, let's see what we can do. One messy lad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That, like, he's got a yellow card for his goalkeeper. But that doesn't matter because you can't get keeper sent off. If he did that again and again and again, he'd just it would just be free kick after free kick. That was a goal. I was, I'd rounded the keeper and we was about to score. Or Ronaldo. Oh, my God. Oh, I just... <laughs> oh, I hate FIFA sometimes, man. Go on. That's got to be the one. At last. Jesus Christ. Roman Riquelme bangs it home. It's been coming. It should be three already. Or Ronaldo, lad. 
from Raquel May. Love it. Love it. That is a sensational finish from Raquel May on his right foot there. Absolutely beautiful FIFA. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's game over. Yeah, he's out. All right. Whew. Man, that was another one of those games, man. That just, it proved to be easy in the end, but it was a problem, man. I'll see you guys in the final. All right, guys, here we go into the final. We are up against a 4-2-3-1. That is a nice team. That Joe Gomez is brilliant. Allison is brilliant. His CDMs are brilliant. His backline in general, his attack is fantastic. Ronaldinho, Firmino, and uh, Lacazette with either five-star skill moves or five-star weak foot. Uh, the only bad player was his right cam, who I assume he'll sub out. Um, let's play this game out and, and hopefully come away with the win, boys. Come on, Messi. Come on, Messi, pal. Come on, Messi, pal. Let's go, man. Team of the year, Messi with a sick goal. Let's go. That's got to be a goal. Or at least a goal-scoring opportunity there. That's so, so disappointing. Lionel Messi has Ronaldo clean through and the ball just just gravitates to his defender. It's got to be a goal-scoring opportunity. Oh, Ronaldo. That is Ronaldo! How is he not at the very, very least making the keeper make a save there? Go on. Let's go, man. All right, lovely goal that. Ronaldo just too strong for Puyol. It should, have, it should have already been 2-1. I'm playing frustrated. How weird is that? I'm 2-1 up in the final of the draft. We're doing good. We're creating opportunities. And I've, I feel like... I just feel like angry, you know? I can't believe it. Oh, I can't believe it. I've read it again. Oh, I've got to stop switching into my centre-backs. I've just got to stop. I've stood my centre-back perfectly in space for that ball back into Ronaldinho and he just watches it roll past his feet. Look at Quadrado moving again. All right, I see. Ah, I see EA. I see. Look at the way Quadrado moves and then look at the... Oh, man. I'm going to... I, I know I'm going to lose this game, guys. I've lost my head. My head's literally gone. My head is gone. That's got to be a red card. Not only was that not a red card, it wasn't even a free kick, and he almost scored from it. It's, I like I I can see I, I I can feel myself playing terribly because my head's gone because all three of his goals have come from in-game nonsense, and so I'm let like not necessarily the finishes per se either, just the 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 turnover possession or an instance within the build-up of the play. Is just this game being just idiotic, and it's it's. Oh, my head's gone. That's it. My head's gone. Oh EA. <laughs> oh EA. Am I actually going to concede to this? I am. Oh my god. Did you? I, I don't know if you guys see what I feel there. Now this guy's in the lead by two. Now, like, I thought when he went 3-2 up, he was about to start being toxic because he'd started to watch a replay and then he changed his mind. Then he goes 4-2 up and now he, uh, he, he will win this and I know I will lose this. Now he's like, oh yeah, now I can start watching full celebrations and being a bit more toxic. Just, oh, just unbelievable. I just, I just want to watch that goal back, but the whole play of that goal. Come on, man, 4-3, back in it. I need a little bit more of that. Oh, Ronaldo. I need to be scoring that. There's no two ways about that. That needs to be a goal. Oh, God damn it. Come on. You are kidding me. What's that? That is an utter joke. <laughs> what is this game? How has Messi just tripped that out of play like that? That's a joke. I mean, that is the biggest joke. That is such a joke. What a joke of a game. What a joke of a game, guys. What Ronaldo has missed three one-on-ones. And you can say all you like, 
you should have done better, you could have done better. I did the right thing at the right time. And then this guy gets a goal where it bounces. I, I block it three times. It just drops back to him over and over. You just can't write, you, like, you can't account for games like this. Lionel Messi, team of the year as well, just getting completely outdone. And then another interception. And guess what? Guess what? It results in another goal. Oh. <sighs> too bad, guys. It's too bad. I'm just going to stand still for the rest of this game. If this guy wants to carry on scoring, then that's on him. I'm not going to get back into the game now. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to stand still for the rest of this one. I'll see you guys at full time. All right, guys, there it is. He ended up scoring two more goals. I don't know why. Um, but I was just, as I say, I was just standing still. That game was just, oh, I, I, I just, I, you, did, so many emotions, right? First and foremost, I hate the fact that you don't get to watch the full replay of the whole game back, right? And then secondly, I hate the fact that the match highlights just don't show all of the things. Right? It doesn't show those three banker Ronaldo chances. It doesn't show the game and how he end up scoring the goals, right? So he scores his first goal. I was already 1-0 up here. Bang. Good tackle. Never mind. Straight back to Lacazette for a goal. I then made it 2-1. He then scored six minutes later with Ronaldinho. I mean, it's, it's, it is a good one too. But I oh, just look, I, play, I put the defender there and he just, he just doesn't go anywhere near it. He then scores three minutes late. Look at Quadrado. Oh, that is horrific. Look at look at him. He does some like weird sidestep, and it just gives the guy the gives the guy the chance to score. That's it. That's the goal. Then Lacazette. Again, I don't, like I don't know how I lost the ball, but I've got I've got good good amount of defenders here. Three defenders on Lacazette, and he still scores. And then it was not even this goal. This gets me back in the game. Then Ronaldo misses that next sitter. Then this is just a joke. How he gets the the goal, in, the ball in the first place, I don't know. Hits the post. Great block. Falls straight back to Messi. You can't account for that. First of all, I should be at 4-4 here. You forget everything that happened before that and the goals that I should have scored. That should have made it 4-4. No question about it, right? That Ronaldo chance. Clean through with Ronaldo. Slow it right down. Hit the near post. Rockets off the post. Like, what can you do? He then misses the... Like, hits the post. He probably should score himself there. That should probably be a goal. And then I position really well and block it. It just falls straight back to Met. Like, what chance have you got? What chance have you got? And then he scored three got. Well, did he score this one when I wasn't playing? No, yeah, this this one just this one killed the game. Ten minutes to go, I'm still in it. I really feel like I'm still in it. Look at that perfect read. Hit Sol Campbell, drops straight back to him, and now he's through on goal again. And he hits that shot and scores it. I do three of those types of shots with Ronaldo, and I don't score. And I get one instance where I'm clean through on goal with Lionel Messi, and he doesn't. He, he gets caught up like literally like it's nothing. And I know I'm complaining, right? And I know I could have made different decisions and done better things to have won that draft, right? This game just is infuriating because of those little nuances in a game where it's close make the biggest difference. If I was 4-0 up in that game, or like look at the first, get the second game and the third game, right? I made those games difficult for myself. I still got rage quits because the disparity in skill was there. When the players are a lot closer in skill, those, those things that the game decides one way or the other literally change the game with that being said, we get a 50k pack for the reward. So a really, really nice reward for losing in the draft final. Almost the same as winning the draft in the last episode where we got a 50k pack and a 5k pack. Let's see if we can get anything good out of this. Mm, it's just boards. Spanish boards. It's even worse. It's a right mid. That's even worse. Calle on. So it's an 84 rated. Hopefully, uh, there'll be some other 84s or 83s in here. Jesus Christ. So we will make profit off of this draft because it's about 7k for Calleon. Um And then about 3k of match coin. So I'd only need to get 5k out of all of this, which is easy. You know, this guy's 1.4, 1.5 because he's from Syria. Defoe right now is about 1,000 coins because he's in marquee matchups. Uh, Budimir is not too expensive. 
Um, and this guy is also not too expensive. But these guys like Lorente is like 1.5k. Um, Buendia is usually quite expensive. He's about 1,000 coins by now. Stevens is quite expensive, about 1,500 coins. Origi is quite expensive, about 1,500 coins as well. Um, so, you know, we definitely made profit off of that draft. It's just, it's just incredibly, incredibly frustrating. That whole draft, I was playing with a chip on my shoulder. But that, guys, is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.